Hello, Sycamore Junior High. Today is Thursday, February 17th, 2022, and welcome to this episode of the Daily Video Announcements. I'm Ava. And I'm Hanin, and let's unite and honor America by standing and placing our hand over our heart to say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and please be seated. We have a lot going on today. Part of the week, Mr. Harris with important activity information, as well as Mr. Brenner with important scheduling information. Oh, scheduling already? This year is flying. I know, right? I had so much fun at the Aviator Bash yesterday and just wanted to thank everyone involved for providing the fun time to spend with our friends. There were so many people there. Yes, thanks for the fun. Hopefully you have made all of your group pictures today. Make sure to check the picture schedule in your email to show up for the afternoon pictures. Happy National Random Act of Kindness Day! It is what the name implies. Random acts of kindness are what makes this day special. Anything to make someone's day a little better. Now for the fact of the day. The heart of a blue whale is 5 feet long and 400 pounds. Today's daily survey. First, here are the results from yesterday's survey. Out of 100 responses, the popular choice with over 58% of the votes was Summer Olympics. And today's daily survey, like always, is posted on Google Classroom, so make sure to check it out. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Jeff Joseph C. We wish you a great and wonderful day to celebrate. Now on to our wonderful Mr. Harris with our important activity information and we'll have Mr. Brenner with some important scheduling information. Good afternoon Sycamore Junior High and welcome to your video announcements on this beautiful Thursday outside. Ooh, rain! All right, we got something new that we'd like to introduce to you guys. The first class store would like to introduce student staff challenges. Use your tickets in the cafeteria this Friday to challenge a teacher to a competition. Competitions will be filmed later by the news crew and be aired on the announcements. This Friday, tomorrow, they can challenge Mr. Heil or Miss Alleman to a chubby bunny contest, or you can challenge Mr. Winkle or Mrs. Darbyshire to a push-up contest. Enter one first-class ticket with your name on the back for a chance to participate in the challenge. Only four students will be selected per teacher. Any questions? Please ask at the first-class store in the cafeteria on Friday. Sounds like fun. All right, candy grams, they're going to be delivered tomorrow during Flex Bell. So those candy grams will go out tomorrow during Flex Bell. And today, our Black History Month highlight uh, person that we're going to feature is composer and band leader Duke Ellington. All right, just as soul music in Motown provided the uh, aspirational soundtrack for the 1960s civil rights movement, swing, muni swing music furnished the upperly mobile score for the mid-1900s Harlem Renaissance. And of all the formidable band leaders of the area, of the era, Duke Ellington towered over the competition like a musical Everest. Ellington earned 11, 11 Grammy Awards, 13 Grammy Hall of Fame nods, and a Grammy Trustees Award. An economical pianist and a canny orchestra leader, music seemed to pour out of the D.C. born wonderkind. Composing original songs in a furious clip, Ellington wrote more than 1,000 tunes, many of which are considered part of the great American songbook, including Don't Get Around Much Anymore, Satin Doll, I'm Beginning to See the Light, and many, many more. One can easily quantify Ellington's greatness by citing his many honors, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom, a Pulitzer Prize Special Citation, the Songwriters Hall of Fame Award, and honorary degree doctorates from Howard University, Yale, Columbia, to list but a few. But Sir Duke's legacy transcends mere peer accolades. Play word association with such phrases as swing and big band music, and Ellington's name will likely leap first to many people's minds. In death as in life, he is the embodiment of jazz. So, let's say a, give a big shout out to Sir Duke, Duke Ellington. That's all for me today, guys. You have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Now, Mr. Brenner with our scheduling information. Hello everyone, Mr. Brenner here to talk about scheduling news for both 7th and 8th grade students. Last week your teacher shared with you your recommendations for your core classes for next year. The next step in the scheduling process will be accessing our online scheduling system and then selecting your remaining courses. 
Uh, the window to do this will be open from February 19th through February 27th. For 8th grade specifically, you received an email outlining the online scheduling process as well as the high school course guide. You will receive another email either today or tomorrow that will include your online scheduling password. Uh, if you have any issues, your high school counselors will be meeting with you one-on-one -on -one during the week of February 28th through March 4th. If you have any high school related questions or need help with uh, selecting your classes, that will be the best time to get them answered. So if you do have questions, you might even want to put them on a little post-it note for when you meet with your high school counselor. For 7th grade students, you'll also receive an email today or tomorrow with your username and password for the online scheduling system. But in addition to that, all 7th grade students will receive a letter in the mail with the online scheduling instructions walking you through the whole process. Uh, if you have any issues accessing the online scheduling or you have questions, you can stop down and see your counselor or send us an email. Uh, after 7th grade students finish the online scheduling, you will receive a verification slip of all the courses that you've planned for for next year uh, after March 1st. So at that time, if anything looks incorrect, we mm -hmm. can update it for you. Uh, so keep an eye on your email for that username and password, and have a great day, guys. Now a new timely segment with crew member Khadija. Hi everyone, it's Khadija. I wanted to present a new segment in celebration for Black History Month, Who Inspires You? This will only last for the month of February. There will be a Google form released on the communications classroom. How this works is that if you fill out the Google form saying which African American inspires you, we will be randomly choosing someone who fills out the form and whoever gets chosen will be emailed notifying them. Then I will locate you during Flex Bell and interview you. Keep in mind you will be on the announcements. Please know that if you are on the no media list, you will not be able to participate. If you are in a flex spell that you cannot be taking out, you won't be able to participate. Make sure you fill out the Google form. Also, make sure your person has something to do with health and wellness. Remember, you are responsible for doing your own research about your person. Be prepared. We look forward for, to hearing from you. Another special segment, announcement from Hadley. Hello, my name is Hadley and I'm going to do a spin-off of The More in Sycamore called Sycamore Showcase. This segment will have an aviator with a wonderful talent come on the announcements to share what they can do. There will be a survey posted on the Google Classroom. Make sure you fill it out if you want to nominate someone or yourself. More details are in the description of the Google form. Over to Lily for Pet of the Week. Hi and welcome to the Pet of the Week segment. Sorry for the delay. This week's pets are Lily Bee's Pet, Grace's dog Jazz, and Brass, submitted by Isaiah P. Okay, last week for the pet guest, most of you thought that it was a white-coated terrier, and most of you were incorrect. The dog was actually a soft-coated Wheaton terrier. Very close. Anyway, you can see the picture for this week in the corner. Let us know what you think on the Google Classroom. Have a good day. Okay, what's for lunch today? For lunch today, we are having French toast. We, will all, we also will have chicken patties. Okay, now for the joke of the day. What did the buffalo say when he dropped his son to school? I don't know. What? Bye, son. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Go waves! waves.